our phones and the internet. Two things we rely on every day, especially this last year. But when they go out, have you ever thought about who fixes it? Well, it might not sound so tough until you see where they have to work. That's what we did with SyncWave in Scottville for this tough job in northern Michigan. So today we are just swapping out a radio. So it's the back of a dish that we are going to be placing a new piece of equipment on. Replacing a radio might sound simple until you realize that radio is 140 feet in the air. These are the things that keep you on the tower. So if you do fall or anything like that, this is going to keep you safe. Add a helmet and some gloves. All right, come on up. And it's time to climb. Wow, this is straight up and down. <laughs> Do you want me to give you the equipment just in case I don't make it up there? No. Maybe that's why I gave you the equipment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could trade. So we're set to go. Climbers have to be tied off 100% of the time, always with a primary and secondary system. My heart is racing. Now we take turns climbing. We can do this. And resting. Yeah, see if you can relax those arms a little bit. <sighs> so I'm going to go up a little bit further and we'll kind of just tag team it through it. Oh boy. I will see you at the dish. See you there. Hopefully. This is by far the scariest job I've done. <laughs> I just can't look down. Yep, just keep looking up yes. at me. I did not think I was going to get this high. <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome up. Okay. We did it. We did. You are at the height that we're working at today. So what we can do is that if you're good, I can help you out. Yes. Real quick. And then you can be, you'll feel like Uber safe. You're not going to get an Uber though. <laughs> I would like an Uber right now. <laughs> <laughs> so. 140 feet isn't quite to the top of the tower, but it's high enough for today's work. So what is this thing called? So this is the, um, a dish or an antenna. Okay. And then what we're putting on is essentially the brain or the radio itself. The thing that actually transmits through the antenna. All right, well, we didn't need anything else, but you did your first climb, you just uh, changed the radio. Wow. Yes. We could go the rest of the way. Oh, I think we're good. <laughs> there is not a chance. <laughs> Once the equipment is replaced and checked by the crew on the ground, it's time to climb back down. So, you did it, you're good. Whenever you feel comfortable. I'm ready. You can start climbing down. Oh, it's harder to find where to step. <laughs> oh wow, has uh, anybody ever gotten stuck up here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've not ever had that happen. Now I see why down is sometimes harder. Yep, especially if you're already tired because then you're, you're like, you're feeling like you're really holding on. Yes. I'm jealous of them at the bottom. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to not believe you're good anymore. <laughs> you're just like, oh good. I was like, I don't know if I trust you. <laughs> What would have taken a seasoned climber 30 to 40 minutes took us about two hours, but <sighs> you made it. You did it. You got it. That was awesome. I definitely would not do this again. <laughs> like, <laughs> now that I've done it, it's like, no, I'm good. Yeah, good. For tough jobs. Would you hire Whitney to do this? No. No, I wouldn't hire <laughs> I mean, she's she's a lot of fun to hang out with, but um, climbing wise, I don't think I would hire hire her as a as a climber. No. I'm Whitney Amen. <laughs> and if your job is tough, dirty, unique, or if you just have a job you'd like to see featured, I would love to come try it out. Just send us an email to toughjobs at nineandtennews.com.